After a mad weekend, Monday is back again with some bullish news for the crypto market. Hi everyone, welcome back to Voice of Crypto's Daily News Wrap, where we talk about all things crypto, blockchain and Web 3.0. On a fresh Monday, before we take a look at the top crypto news, let's take a quick look at how the larger crypto market performed and how the top crypto assets looked like. Saturday and Sunday saw the global crypto market fall below the 100 billion or 1 trillion US dollar mark. However, Monday bought minor bullish waves for the cryptocurrency market as the global crypto market cap saw a 1% increase over the last 24 hours. Bitcoin is back to the 20,000 mark. Is this a buy the dip opportunity or should hodlers be careful of their portfolio at this time? Well, there's not much that can be said about Bitcoin's price. However, there is a considerable short term bullish momentum for BTC's price as we have seen a decent uptick in price from the lower 20,000 US dollar price level. We have seen that in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin's price is up by close to 2%. Ethereum, which has been one of the top performers for the last two to three months, is now back to the 1500 US dollar mark. And while Ethereum's price is up by a mere 3% over the last 24 hours, Ethereum's price is still down by close to 4% on the weekly chart. On the other hand, Bitcoin's price is down by close to 5% on the weekly chart. Bear in mind that with the Ethereum merge upcoming, this can be a really crucial time for Ethereum and its price ahead of the merge. We know that on 15th September is the merge scheduled and this could mark a very important event, not just for the Ethereum ecosystem, but for the larger cryptocurrency market as well. A quick look at the top 10 crypto assets shows us that Binance's BNB is also following more or less Bitcoin's trajectory. It's up by 1.46% in the last 24 hours. No much change on the weekly chart as we can see. XRP is still down by 2% on the weekly and 2% on the daily chart. Cardano is noting minor uptick in price but no major bullish momentum to push Cardano's price ahead for now. Same goes for Solana. Solana is one of the top losers on the weekly chart. We can see that Sol's price is down by 7.69% on the weekly chart, even though Sol is managing to pick up and it's up by 0.44% over the last 24 hours. Meme tokens, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu are both noting near upticks in price, but more or less consolidation can be seen on their price charts. Dogecoin is down by 0.41% and 5% on the daily and weekly charts respectively, while Shiba Inu is making slight strides on its one hour and 24 hour chart. However, Shiba Inu is too down by close to 5% on the weekly. While the crypto market and quite a few of the crypto assets might present a bearish outlook for the larger cryptocurrency market, it might not be the case if we take a look at today's top news. A good news for those who are planning to buy a GPU, AMD and Nvidia, which are some of the top players in this market have said that they, they are ready to significantly cut GPU prices in September. This, however, is just a speculation. Companies, um, both the companies, NVIDIA and AMD, are going to apply more price cuts on their graphics processing unit in order to sell off whatever is remaining in the inventory. This could positively impact Bitcoin mining. However, it's still a speculation and whether it could in fact affect Bitcoin and Bitcoin's price or Bitcoin mining is something that still remains to be seen. Good news for the cryptocurrency market as leading global derivatives marketplace CME Group backed Euro pegged BTC and Ethereum futures are finally trading. Uh, the trading started on Monday, August 29th. This means that uh, there is quite a bit of development if you look at the traditional sector and the emergence of traditional as well as the cryptocurrency markets. This step is taken so that institutional investors have more exposure to digital assets and this could also aid the adoption of digital assets in the long term. That said, Virtue Zone 
and Binance have formed a strategic partnership which is establishing VirtuZone as the first UAE corporate services provider to accept cryptocurrency payments via Binance Pay. Um, this entire collaboration is a part of the adoption process that is happening in the UAE. Binance is leading in those terms and VirtuZone has now uh, stepped on the bandwagon, is aiding adoption increase in the particular geography. This is all in terms of news for the day. However, before we wrap this video, we'll take a quick look at the top gainers of the day. With Bitcoin noting minor bullish upticks, we can see that quite a few altcoins have reacted to that. Lido Dao's LDO token, Compound Scomp, Kusama, Uniswap, FTT, Nexo were a few of the top gainers in the market. We can see that Lido was leading in terms of daily gains and was up by close to 9%. Comp was up by a mere 5% while Kusama was up by 4.4% on the daily. Uniswap, FTT and Nexo were all up by 3-3%. While these aren't the biggest gains that these tokens have seen in the last few weeks, seems like there is a decent bullish uptick for these tokens. This, my friends, is all for today's daily news wrap. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe to Voice of Crypto's YouTube channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. I'll see you tomorrow with more news from the crypto, blockchain and web 3.0 space.